Antibiotic resistance is nothing new, but a new report in The Lancet shows that drug-resistant bacterial infections killed more than 1.2 million people in 2019. That's more than HIV or malaria in the same year. Well, joining me now to discuss this and tell us more is Professor Ramanan Laxminarayan. He's an affiliate professor at the University of Washington. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the program. What lies behind this uh, alarming uh, figure? Is it that you know too many doctors are dishing out too many antibiotics? So, talks uh, for a long time we've known that a lot of people die because of infections that are not treatable, uh, and this happens everywhere in rich countries and poor countries. It's poorly quantified in most parts of the world. But these infections are caused by you know E. coli, lots of other pathogens that people don't know about but they are likely to get if they go into hospital. Uh, what this study really does is quantify that, and this alarming figure of more than 1.2 million deaths places drug-resistant infections as a leading cause of infection disease deaths right after COVID-19 and uh, tuberculosis. You mentioned this affects both rich and poor countries. What regions are the worst affected then? So uh, the worst affected regions are South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. These are places that tend to have a lot of bacterial infections to begin with. They also have high levels of drug resistance, and they also have a problem with access to antibiotics. And so we're going back to a world like we had before antibiotics, where we really have to depend on prevention or other methods because the antibiotics simply won't work. So what could be those other methods? Um, the other method, our first, I think, is to prevent infections in the first place uh, through a vaccination, through water and sanitation, infection control. The second thing is to use antibiotics judiciously. We use a lot of antibiotics in animals. 70% of the antibi antibiotics we use are used directly to feed to animals. Uh, the third is that we really need to develop new antibiotics. The pipeline of new antibiotics is very, very small. And we have to remember that as we use antibiotics, whether appropriately or not, the bacteria are going to figure out how to be resistant to them. But our pipeline of new antibiotics, the development has simply not kept pace.